be solving rate problems that deal with kind of um, repetition of things, okay? So for example, if I have, if I know that one ant has six legs, and I want to know how many legs seven ants have, or let's do, I want to know how many um, legs four ants have. I want you to use these counters, and I want you to show me how you would solve that to figure out how many legs four ants have. So if you know one ant has six legs, how would you build that with these counters? So show me one ant on your desk with six legs with these counters. Does this have six legs? All right, now you're going to use the counters to figure out how many legs you would have if you had four ants. So show me how you would use counters to solve how many legs four ants have. out how many legs there are on four ants. Why don't you get your, get your mate on the table. Okay, you can go ahead with this marker with the number of ants that there are. I mean, sorry, number of legs there are on four ants. It seems like you all got 24. Can you tell me what you did with your counters to be able to get your answer? Can you speak louder? Okay. And then what did you do with these to help you get to 24? Okay. What did you do with your counters to get your number? And we can see what she did, she wrote it down. She did six and then she counted, you can tell she was counting by sixes as she wrote them out. Awesome, good job. Okay, so that's what we do if we're gonna kind of repeatedly add something, right? Okay, so this time we're gonna use these counters and we are gonna do another situation. Okay, this time I know that each child has half a slice of bread, okay? So if you imagine this as a slice of bread, right? Every child has half. Okay, I want to know how many slices are needed if you have four people. So I want to see what you can do with these. If you know that this is a slice of bread, right? And this would be half a slice of bread. I want you to tell me how many full slices of bread I would need if I had four children. Okay, so I want you to use these counters and see if you can figure that out. Show me what the counters How much bread is every child getting? What did I say? Half of one, of one whole. Okay, so remember, we had a piece of bread. And we were splitting it in half, right? So one child was getting a half a slice. So look at your picture. Do you agree with that we need four slices of bread for four kids if every child's getting half? Think about what you would do differently. Okay, tell me why you did that, Daniela. What did you do? So you're saying if every child's getting half, then how many kids would be able to share one piece of bread? 
two, three. If everybody's sharing half, how many pieces of bread would it require for two kids? If every child's getting half, how many pieces of bread would it take for two kids? Four pieces of bread, do you agree? I think four pieces of bread. Okay, can you tell us why? Um, because there are two, there are two children and um, you have one in, um, so there are two children and So if I have half, okay, so here's a piece of bread, one kid, two kids, here's another piece of bread, three kids, four. Do you agree that we need two slices of bread for four kids if everyone's getting half? Awesome. Good job. All right. Thank you, guys.